throw things back there? That's fine. Slow. I'm glad we're only a quarter full. Same up here. Did you hear something about the weather front? Yeah. These things used to bother me. The weather? No. That we're going to be delayed getting into Paris. <laughs> Please tell me you plan on getting some sleep tonight. Oh, I can promise you we'll be in bed early. <laughs> Emily, why did you go out with us? It'll be so fun. Wow, Paris at night. The Champs Elysees, the clubs, the mimosas. I'll be busy. <laughs> now, if you please excuse me, ladies. <laughs> I've got some work to do. Okay. That's a hint. Yeah. Aye, aye. So. What's the deal with the special cargo? It was some last minute, top level government contractor shipment. It says there's an armed guard in the hole. That's the first. What are we carrying? I'm not sure I want to know. Well, looks like all the signatures check out, so we are free to drop it with the SOC. It says here if there are any abnormalities involving the cargo area. Abnormalities? We're to contact uh, Dr. Bennett and Dr. Sebastian. These were the guys that secured the cargo. They were in first class. Abnormalities. I'm glad this is my last flight. <laughs> yeah. Lucas, oh. you need to settle down You're now. You're not listening. We could lose Kelly, and I won't let that happen. You want to... Would you calm down? You're making a scene here. Now, I told you, I will bring Kelly out of stasis when we have a controlled environment, not before. We all know this is highly unorthodox. We had to move quickly. This is her, our only way out. Unorthodox? Hey, she would die when we saved her. If we hadn't intervened, she'd be dead. You goddamn well know that. Yeah. Were we able to reach our friend? Kalinsky's made all the arrangements for the transport, and we'll see him in Prague. In Prague? I thought we had a lab set up in Tulum. Crazy. Our files have been hacked. That'd be the first place they'll look. We are running out of time! There have always been risks. But think of the good we are doing. We will save loved ones. We will bring them back. It's why we all have sacrificed. Kelly knew the risks going into this. You know, that's easy for you to say. That's not your wife down there. Is it? Is it? Shh. Calm down. Sit down. Come on. Come on. That's it. Now listen, I know how you feel. I really do. But do you for one minute think I don't know what's at stake here? My entire company depends on the success of this project, and I am less concerned about losing one life than I am of saving thousands. So I'm not gonna let you or your wife or some petty little bureaucrat jeopardize this project. So shut the fuck up and get back to your seat because this subject is closed for good. We're killing this, Doctor. We're clear. Excuse me. He's not gonna let this go. Don't worry about it. Dr. Thorpe will not be leaving Paris. Not with us at any rate. Excuse me, miss. I'll uh, take a rum and coke, please. Oh, sorry, Burroughs. Rude of me. Make that two. Right. How about a Coke? If a little bit of Bacardi were to find its way in there, it would be our little secret, huh? Anything for you, Mr. Uh, Burroughs, Truman. But no, thank you. And I'm Frank. Frankly, Strathmore. It's a name rich with tradition. My, uh, my family. She doesn't they... need to know your family history, Frank. Look, I don't expect to be tied up long, just a couple of parking ticket kind of things, really. I mean, how about you and I meet at the Eiffel Tower around midnight? 
I'm sorry to disappoint you, but uh, Frank here, he's gonna be a little busy. That's okay. <laughs> Truman, if you guys need anything, let me know. Thank you. Okay. Truman? Truman? Hmm. I guess that pretty well does it for me. Looks like if you play your cards right, she could be cuffing you later. Hmm. <laughs> You're going to shut up and drink your Coke. Hey, guys. Hey. My God, you are lovely. Uh, Stores, do you think I could get some sugar with my coffee? Down, boy. So, is Allie packed? Uh, she's been packed for five years. <laughs> Legendary Ray Bashore retiring. So why isn't she with you on your final flight? She insisted on staying home to get things ready for our trip. So where are you two going? Some of vacation with the grandkids. Then we're on a slow ocean cruise to Alaska. Just the two of us. <laughs> That's so romantic. Yeah, the ocean cruise maybe, but the kids? Ooh. Sounds like a nightmare. Hey. That's great, Ray, really. Thank you. Looks bad ahead, huh? Uh, not to worry. <sighs> boring flight, boring flight. So, I can't wait to go shopping at Chanel in Paris. Courtney says that we have to go to Cartier first, and then we can go yeah, to... Yeah, well, I can't wait to go surfing in Biarritz. Surfing? Oh, yeah, we're going surfing. You can go surfing. Good. You and that slut Jackie can go surfing all you want. Whoa, hey, Tony's my friend, all right? Mm -hmm. We're here to surf and you know that. And hey, his girlfriend's a total bitch, and you know that. What the hell is it with you two? I don't like her, okay? Whatever, okay. yourself. Hey, yo, Tom. Yeah? Gotta go along, buddy. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh, it hurts Peter, to get scored on. Child. Wow, nice toss. Hey. Thanks. I'll give it back to you when I'm done playing with it. Hey. Dude, she cannot take the ball. Well, obviously she can. Nice toss. Excuse me, Mr. Freeman. Yeah. Uh, could I could I get your autograph? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Hey, th that that final putt on the last day of the Masters, man, that was poetry. Uh, oh, poetry, huh? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Mr. Freeman. Thanks a lot. No problem. Why can't they just leave us alone? You told me this was a trip away from golf and everything that goes with it. I know, and it is. I promise that for the rest of the trip, I'm just gonna be playing old Billy, all right? You won't even know Longshot exists. I promise you that. Okay. Well, that's smart. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Freeman. Yeah? Captain Bashore would love to meet you. Hmm. When he has a break later in the flight, would you mind if he stops by for a visit? Yeah, it's not a problem. Thank you. Okay. You know, while you're at it, if you're done fawning over my husband. I'd love another Bloody Mary. Yeah, man. William. I'm on vacation. I'll get you a drink right away, Mrs. Freeman. Yeah, and make sure you put some vodka in at this time. Because that's how I like to tee off. Hey, there's no reason to be so rude, all right? You know, I'm sure there's someone back in coach that hasn't got your autograph yet. Well, maybe I'll go back there and give it to him. You knew what you were getting into when you married me. I thought I did. You just keep twirling that little putter of yours. Because that's all you're going to be twirling this trip. Wasn't so little last night, was it? You know you've got the wrong man. Right? Yeah. 
That's why Interpol has your picture all over the internet. It's a classic case of mistaken identity. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Burroughs. You can't treat me like this. I'm not guilty. It's not fair, bouncing me all over the world to stand trial here and there for something I did not do. I'm not guilty. I'm not guilty. No, I'm, I have a clear conscience. I'm, I'm not guilty. Yeah. What is it going to take to convince you I'm innocent? An act of God. Now shut up before I make you eat that flotation device you're sitting on. There we go. We can fly around it, but not above it. I mean, this is a huge system. It's about 150 miles east and west of course, so it looks like either way we go, we are screwed. It's either that or we fly all the way back around, but that's going to add 30 minutes to our flight at least. Hmm. Paris weather is not good for our arrival. I'm going to deviate left to thread the needle. That gap might be our only shot at getting around the system without landing for fuel. Oil. Folks. Looks like it's going to get a little bumpy ahead. I'd like you to remain in your seats and wear your seat belts. We'll probably be through this in 10 or 15 minutes. Thank you very much. You know, Mr. Madison, a combined strike team of the CIA and FBI seized the headquarters of Medcon Labs in Los Angeles. A number of arrests were made, but we've been unable to determine the whereabouts of four key individuals. The first one, Dr. Leo Bennett. He's a head research scientist and founder of Medcon, noted for his work with retroviruses and synthetic biology. He was investigated two years ago for illegal cloning research. Unfortunately, that investigation failed to produce any indictments. So far, I've seen nothing that warrants disturbing the president. Can we get to the point here? Look, we're trying to reconstruct Bennett's hard drive, and we think there is cause for alarm. We believe Leo Bennett is responsible for the development of a new strain of the malaria virus and the containment and transportation of Dr. Kelly Thorpe. Malaria. Initially, we thought it was malaria. However, we discovered that it's something new, something different. Bennett obtained a DNA sample from a mosquito native to a remote area in Vietnam, which had a 100% mortality rate within seconds, which then regenerates that same organism for a few seconds or longer, depending upon the subject organism. What Bennett has developed is a mutation of this same mosquito virus to restart major organs for an indefinite period of time. So what you're saying is that his virus kills organs and then brings them back to life? Not just organs. 
She apparently was experimenting on the resurrection of the entire human body after death. Oh, impossible. I can't go to the president with this. Jerry, come on. From what we've uncovered, we believe he succeeded. now we got electrical and communication problems we just had a temperature drop in the cargo hold this is concord 239 to base this is concord 239 to base great no radio in this crap for the next hour perfect what the hell is wrong with you i'm sick I need help! I need help! <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. Hey, will you grab me a Diet Coke on the way back? Sure, honey. Thanks, babe. Dude, check out that dime. Wow, that is one hot little biatch. Ow, fuck! 
the hurt. Oh, hi, honey. <laughs> so I guess that mid-flight blowjob is out of the question? Such a pig. Sweetheart? What? What? What's wrong? I mean, what if somebody sees us? What are you talking? We're in a bathroom. What are you talking about? No, I, you know what I mean. You're Peter's best friend. So what? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. No, it's I'm okay. It's sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Sir, oh. you actually, you need to take your seat. Fasten the seatbelt sign is on. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, can I get you some more coffee? Okay. Yes, thank, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, a vegan. Ryan's a vegan. I was a vegan. You know, yeah? Two days. It's <laughs> Megan it's, vegan. It's actually <laughs> Megan. Megan. Oh, no. I know that. Um, Sir, you actually need to take your seat. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, you need to be more careful. I mean, people sneaking up on you. There's strange people here. You never can tell what it's going to happen on these flights. Sir, uh, you need to take your seat. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Thanks. Buckle up. This little diversion will keep my mind off your tasteless cheap suit. Would you feel better if I was in a bitch ass orange jumpsuit? Like the one you're gonna be wearing the rest of your life. There you go, getting nasty again when I am merely offering a criticism of this sartorial horror show you call a suit. However, I do like the shirt. Does it come in a man style? <laughs> and for your information, the jumpsuits in France are a sort of burgundy. Yeah. Well, you should look nice in that color. And now I know what color corsage to get you when Big Pierre makes you his wife. Someone sounds a wee bit jealous. Yeah. descend a little.
Is it over yet? Let's find out. This is Randy. It's Stacy. I, I think some of the passengers might have been hurt. How bad? I don't know. It's a mess down here. Well, we'll do the best we can. Just stand by. Looks like we're okay for a few minutes. Give him the go-ahead to check. Let me know what's what. Well, folks, we apologize for the heavy turbulence we had just experienced. It appears as though we're clear for the moment. However, we're traveling through some unstable air, so as a precaution, I would like you to remain in your seats for the time being. At this time, I would only like our flight attendants up and about the cabin. Thank you. Would you make sure everyone's all right? Then have one of the doctors, uh, Bennett or Sebastian, check the cargo situation out with you. The cargo? I'll get my tools. Is she okay? What's her head? You're right, dude. You take one. <clears throat> fucking bag hit me in the head. Come on, that was fun. It's just turbulence. My God, don't be such a baby. It didn't hit you. Relax. <sighs> what is your problem, girl? Oh, are you scared we're gonna crash? Relax, bitch. Enjoy the ride. Oh, Jesus! Pipe down, you psycho. Shut up. What the hell's wrong with hey. you? What? You are a psycho. Are you? And you're a fucking skank. I'm so sick of your shit. Come on, stop it. Everyone, just calm down. Take your seats. And you take your seats too. Take your seats. What's wrong with you? We have several warning lights we don't usually get, even with this weather. It's probably nothing, but we should look just the same. I agree. Why don't you two go with him? Both of us? Yeah. Right. Well, whoever's going, meet me by that exit door. It usually takes a few minutes to get down there, and there's no easy way to go. God damn it. I told you. I told you. Hey, hey, calm down. Let's go check on our passenger. If there was a malfunction, Kelly might be dead. Now yeah, listen, don't take your eye off and make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Are you guys okay? Yeah. I'm fine. But uh, do you think we can move up to business class? I mean, the plane's really empty and all. He's kidding, we're fine. Okay. Thank you. Hey, I am trying to help you out here. She wants you. Make your move. Go, boy, go. Sorry, if this is a problem. No problem. I'll take care of it. It could be dangerous. Well, only if you're afraid of the dark. <clears throat> Come on, Burroughs. I need to go to the sandbox. What? I gotta pee. No. You heard the PA. Sit down and hold it. Fine. Oh, if you should happen to feel something warm. Just move a little to your right. You're like a five-year-old. Come on, let's go. Easy, take it slow. Yes, of course. Burrows? Burrows?
Mr. Burroughs. Truman. Oh my god. All right, gentlemen. Here we go. Flight deck. Captain, this is Megan at door 4L. We've got a problem back here. Okay. How bad is it? Mr. Burroughs, the cop who brought the prisoner on board, was knocked out cold. And his prisoner is missing. You guys seen a uh, funny looking skinny guy, blue sweatshirt, turtleneck, walk through here? No. No? No? Well, that explains the communication problem. Brian! Dr. Thorpe! Kevin! Fry's not in the jump seat. Oh God. This can't be happening. We need to get out of here now! Come on! We need to seal the hatch now! Let's Come on! on. Tony? <laughs> Don't 
scare me like that. <laughs> what? Where the fuck are you Ow, going? that hurts. And don't use that kind of language around me either. <laughs> hey, you two. You need to be in your seats with the belts fastened. yourself a fucking sandwich while you're at it. What have you done? You son of a bitch! What have you brought on board? Take your seats, everyone. Please, take your seats. Ray, open up. What's wrong? Randy! Ray, bring the plane down. Ray, bring the plane down. Bring the plane down right now or I'm gonna fucking die. Shit. Tell Ray, me what the Ray, hell happened Ray. down there. The fucking, the fucking, the fucking scientists, they let something out of the cargo hold. What are you talking about? Where are the doctors? They're dead! Ray, oh, Ray they're dead! Sit they're down! Look at me, man! Everyone's gonna fucking die! They killed them! Sit down and calm down! Oh, sit down! Down! Sit down! What happened to you? Listen to me. Just listen to me, Ray. If you don't land this plane, no. You, me, Emily, everybody on this fucking plane is gonna die. You know I can't bring her down without warning and no place to land. Think about it! There is something. It's not human. Down there, man. And it's gonna kill everybody on board unless we land this plane. So whatever you do, I don't care how you Look, do it. Just, just find down. a place, Ray, and land the, the fucking plane. Going. Find a piece of straight fucking storm road. This is helping our situation. It's clear we can try to cross, but I'm turning around and heading back. There's a TSA man aboard. Find out which passenger he is and get him up here now. Right. Are you sure that's the guy? Okay, okay, they're dead. You say whatever killed him was inhuman. I know it sounds insane. I saw this happen. I mean, those things. I mean, they ripped those men apart. I mean, they were eating them. You said there was a fugitive on board. Is it possible you saw him down there? No. I told you there were two of them, and these these things aren't human. I'm gonna go find out what was in those containers. Where are you going? I'm gonna go talk to that asshole Bennett because he knows. Sit down. Well, I'll check it out. I'll report back. Is he okay? Any sign of him? He can't hide forever. As soon as the turbulence settles, I'm gonna look for him some more. Don't go alone. Why? I mean, is he dangerous? 
Well, he's probably never owned a weapon before, but it's more of a con artist than anything. What did he do? Can you tell me? He posed as an accountant, skimmed $35 million off the Russian mob, stole their jet, and crash landed it. And we finally caught up to him. Everybody wants him. Why are you taking him to Paris? Oh! Hey, take a look at this. I think I found Concord 239. Nobody's been able to reach it for over an hour. Los Angeles Dispatch, this is Yellow Knife Center. I believe I have your Concord 239 on my screen. It's in the middle of two huge weather fronts and transponder indicates it's off course. No, no radio contact yet, I'll try now. Concord 239, Yellow Knife Center. Concord 239, Yellow Knife Center. Los Angeles Dispatch. Yes, I understand. I repeat, you must tell 239 to return to U.S. airspace. The Canadian government will not permit them to land or continue to fly in their airspace. This decision has come from the highest level of the Canadian government, as well as the U.S. State Department and the CDC. Is that clear? Can you tell me what it is you're transporting in the cargo hold? I'm sorry. My cargo is a highly classified project linked to our nation's security. You don't have the necessary clearance. I'm with the TSA, Federal Air Marshal. I need to know what's down there. Well, how fortunate for us to have a man of your obvious talent support. You seem a bit nervous, Doc. Is everything all right? I just don't like flying. Hmm. Isn't it true your two colleagues accompanied the co-pilot down to the cargo hold because there was some problem? No, no problem. It's no problem. It's just a routine mid-flight inspection. Mm, routine. What I can tell you, while well, my cargo isn't dangerous, it is highly perishable and extremely valuable, so the cargo area is off-limits to unauthorized personnel. Well, can you tell no, me... No, I'm sorry. I said more than I should have already. Judd, TSA, I believe you're prisoners in the cargo hold. Ready? Hey, Frank! Dr. Thorpe! Dr. Sebastian! Anybody out there? It's a lot of blood. Somebody's in trouble. Yeah, if it's Frank's, he needs help now. Check that out. Looks like he escaped through the ducks. I don't know. That's an awful lot of blood for a skinny little shit like Frank. Yeah. Go that way, I'll go this way. Get back in five. All right.
Hey, Frank? You there, buddy? Hey, why don't you come on out and talk to me, man? Everything's all right. It's cool. We can just talk. It's just me. Hey, Frankie? I'm gonna kill that little shit. All right. I'm coming up. Yes. You sure? Outstanding. Thank you, Lieutenant. We have located Bennett and his team. Hallelujah. You know, Frank, sometimes this job is really boring. This is not one of those times, bud. Making this real exciting. Frank? Take your seats. Everything's fine. Thank you. Ray, it's total chaos down here. There were gunshots or something that freaked out the passengers. <laughs> Take the gun. Happening. Get back. Go back to your seats and stay there. Go back.
Turned around and we'll land the first place we can find. And the only way back is through the center of the storm. You need to get the passengers back to their seats now.
Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I can't explain. We gotta get out of here! They're gonna kill us! Oh, God! Oh, 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 what is going on? What is going on? We need to hide. We need to hide. We need to get out of here. Be very quiet. Don't let them come get us. You were right, no bites. Or... We thought, we thought that... What, that it was me gnawing on all the passengers? No, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> scientists working on this is that we're dealing with a serum transfer virus. This virus is without a known vaccine or cure. But this type virus transfers only through bodily fluid and then most effectively blood from an infected victim enters a cut or saliva. The Medcon scientists believe they could make this work despite the side effects that are being brought back from the dead. In fact, they looked upon these side effects as a benefit. Mm -hmm. Let me paraphrase these notes that we found on Dr. Bennett's desk. They wanted this virus as a bioweapon to keep soldiers fighting after they were mortally wounded, to release a captive enemy infected with the virus and let him infect others until they all kill each other. Hmm. I'm going to recommend to you and to the president that we destroy Flight 239 before it can reach a populated area. Let me get this straight. You want our forces to follow a shoot-to-kill order regarding this civilian aircraft? We've had no communication with the aircraft. We must assume the cargo has been breached and that the virus has spread throughout the passenger section. The only chance we have to contain this is to vaporize every living thing aboard that aircraft. 
before the virus can reach a major population center. Do you concur? I'm afraid I do. Can you get me the president, please? There'll be these crazy side effects. Oh, well, look around you, asshole. Your side effects have eaten half the passengers. Hey, hey, I don't have to listen to you. You were the one that seemed like you were given all the orders. And you were the one that the cop was talking to. And you were the one that sent the others below. I heard all of that. You don't know what you're talking about. It wasn't me, I tell you. Hey, keep your voice down. Yeah. You just keep talking. You'll draw their attention. really tight in here. Yeah, yeah. I think we're getting closer. Okay. 
Two in the chest, one in the balls. That's what I say. It's barricaded. Ah, Frank, I see you! He did that? Busy little beaver. Come on. section is the safest place to be in a crash. Of course, no one break that now. Tell me what it's shopping. Go, get some else. Get something else. I am. I do it. Right there, right there. I can't live. There's a wait. Frank. We gotta go. Go, 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 go. All right, we need to find anything that can be used as a weapon. Does anyone have anything sharp? Uh, they confiscated my toenail clippers. Pearl handle with matching tweezers. Quite lovely. Damn, Frank, you should have brought those. You could have saved the day. You never know. Yeah. How much ammunition do you have left? I got five in here and one clip. What about you? One full clip, five more. Maybe we could electrocute the bastard. No, don't do that! I guess that could have gone better. Frank, you stupid shit. Please tell me you're dead. Where'd you find him? The auxiliary lights. The auxiliary lights will come on any second. Good hope. Frank, thank you. We need to find one. <laughs> Still no answer from the cockpit. I can't believe everyone's dead. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Maggie, listen to me. Listen to me. No. We are not gonna die. No. Okay. No, we're not gonna die. I promise you. I need your help. I need you to be strong. We 
need to have a plan to get this plane down safely. Does anybody know if the pilot's still alive? I, I tried to reach him. Try him again. Okay. Nothing? No. The captain's dead, we're on autopilot. So what, we just fly around until they get us? No. Or until we run out of fuel. Actually, that might be preferred. Look. Run out of fuel! Yeah! Hey, 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 we gotta get to the flight deck and check on the captain. We gotta do this now, before they start coming at us. I don't think you have enough bullets to make it to the cockpit. The guard down below has a weapon. Well, we need that weapon. That's our only chance. Absolutely. So, so what, you're just gonna go down there? Get down there. Yes. How do, how do we know he didn't use all the ammo already? We don't know, Frank. Good to know you still have a sense of humor at a time like this. I know it's not much to look at, but with any luck, it's gonna buy me enough time to get that weapon and get back here without tearing the plane apart. Why are you doing this? I made a promise to someone. I keep my promises. in case this blows off anything uh, important. Do you mind if I take out your new girlfriend? Hey, Bennett! <laughs> Got something for you. Establish contact. You have three minutes from my mark. Mark minus three minutes. Roger that. Minus three minutes. Try to establish contact. I'm going to circle and signal. Fuck. I'd like to think that's the cavalry, but, um... What do you mean? We don't have much time. Well, aren't they going to save us? No, they're not going to save us. There's just us. Unless we let him know we're alive, he's gonna shoot us down. They can't do that. 
He's right. Unless we answer him, they're gonna fire the missile at us. What do we do? We answer him. Someone needs to get to the cockpit and signal that jet. Does anybody know how to fly a jet? Anyone? Anyone? You can fly a jet? Well, not officially, but I know most of the basics. Basics? Of course, it's been a while. We just need to get to the radio and use it. We need to go now, Frank. Aw. All right. Count me in. No, 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 Billy, don't leave me. I'll go. Hey, I'll go. No, no, you stay here. I'm gonna do my part. Why? I'll see you soon, baby. I'll see you soon. Let's go. That's such a big mouth. You guys go, I gotta wait for Anna. Go, go! go! No response to my signals. You are clear to engage 239. Command, please repeat. You are clear to engage 239. Roger that. Clear to engage contact 239. Two minutes. I'm 
swimming me to death. Where's the autopilot? I don't know, you asking me, Frank? This is different! This is different! Don't uh, yell at me! I'm not yelling! I have locked. Uh, uh, we're alive. I repeat, uh, we're alive. Uh, abort! Abort! Object. Incoming object. They must have launched a missile. Frank, we got seconds. I know. Where is the autopilot? I don't know. Collision imminent. Collision imminent. Here, here. Autopilot okay. off. Okay. All right. Well, what do we do with this? Okay. Uh. We've got live civilians. Aborting. Repeat. I am aborting. Frank? Frank! Yes! Mountain! Did you ever consider going out with an ex-cop? I went out with a cop once. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the only thing he was good for was scratching my back when I couldn't reach. Do you ever get that itch anymore? All the time. 